Hey there guys, I'm that British gamer and today we know it's serious because it's full screen animated that British gamer uh avatar. Da da. Um <laughs> but anyway, the, the this video is me Yeah, I'm going to be unpopular. I don't really give a shit. I know people don't like me. I'm Marmite, but whatever. The recent Roe v. Wade thing. Oh, God. Like, my first issue with the whole Roe v. Wade thing is the fact that people keep screaming that you've taken away women's rights when that's not what the ruling was. It just moved the issue back to state instead of federal. That would be like in the UK, moving it from the national government to either the devolved parliaments or even, like, county level. Um, so, like, you could have, for example, like, Yorkshire has abortion, but the, st the county next to it uh, doesn't. That, that's what this would, you know, could potentially be like. And, um, so it's not really taking away people's rights. It's, this group of people don't believe in this, so they want this. Fair enough. Um, that's my first real bugbear about this whole Roe v. Wade thing, the fact that you can't even get right what you're criticising. Um, but my second point is, it's really... Oh god, it's really deadened my opinion of a lot of people who I used to like and respect. And when you... See, this is this is my perspective. This is why I'm so annoyed about the the abortion issue. A lot of people seem to be under the impression that abortion, abortion isn't very common. You know, it's it's something that's what it used to be, safe, legal and rare, and people didn't really talk about it because it's, you know, it's a big deal. You shouldn't, it's not something you should take lightly. And that's how it was in the 90s. It, it wasn't stigmatised. It was like, oh, shit, this is heavy, dude. But, you know, I'm not going to stigmatise you. Just, understand that it's safe legal and rare and we'll move on but um from those days to these when you um look at last year's statistics <coughs> which was um by the way during a pandemic and multiple lockdowns we still somehow managed in the UK to manage to um have 200 and 12,000 abortions. Yeah, you weren't meant to, like, meet up with people outside of your house. You weren't meant to do this. You weren't meant to do it. But, but we still managed to do 212,000 abortions. Mwah. Well done. Nearly a quarter of a million children have been saved from whatever. It just blows my fucking mind every time I, I repeat that number. And the one that blows my mind even more... I understand there are medically necessary times when you have to do this, like endopic pregnancies, etc. And um, when I looked at the statistics and I quoted a friend on Facebook because she said, I support these people. And I was like, dude, do you realize I looked it up because I needed to know for my own brain. Um, but these circumstances you've listed above and similar ones occurred 111 times out of 212,000 in the statistics themselves the government say 99.9% .9 of women don't give a reason that's really sad you think about it if those 212,000 minus 111 abortions didn't happen that's 212,000 children that would be walking around right now and yet tonight I had on Facebook in a random group not someone I know thank fuck I can't I don't even remember their name but they were telling me um that I uh, they were comparing oh my god get this um if it's God's will this is what the meme was this is a lefty meme um, if it's God will for me to have this child, then it's God will for you to have a limp dick.
basically implying that Vi you know was uh, there was something else about Viagra but basically saying if if I've got to be pregnant you can't have Viagra and I, I, I my response to this was um, these two things are not the same one kills a baby the other um, gives you a boner they're not one of the same and someone replied to me saying that it's not a human it's a fetus it's like dude that fetus is a baby that's growing in the womb once it gets to a certain point it will live outside the womb you cannot tell me that that unique collection of DNA isn't a human that is fucking bullshit don't even try that when they say my body my choice there's another body inside them with unique dna that they forget to even fucking think about this is what gets me like if, if it if it was still safe legal and rare and it wasn't like it's glamorized on twitter like some women are like i've had five abortions it's like oh well done your womb is a green graveyard like, oh god, and don't even look up how they do abortions, especially the later they get. Oh god, it's sick. I looked at it, and if you watch a video of an abortion happening, you would never be pro abortion. And I really hate the the pro choice and pro, um, uh, uh, what is it? Pro choice and pro women, or whatever the fuck the labels used to be. That that shouldn't that shouldn't be the labels approach because like pro-choice you're not choosing there, there, there's you're not pro-choice because what you want is abortion so you're pro-abortion if you were pro-choice you would listen to the people who are anti-abortion so there's pro-abortion and anti-abortion and i'm sorry i fall in the anti-abortion camp because i do not believe that just because you can't be bothered to have the child it makes it not human it's a human and you're ending its life that's murder you intentionally killing it no matter how you try and like do your mental gymnastics that at the end of the day is what is happening and unless you accept that then I'm sorry there is a mental deficiency in you or you regret having an abortion and this is the only way that you can you know mentally block it out and go no no I'm not in the wrong I'm 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 trying not trying to like I, I don't want to have a go at these people who've like had contraception and it fails and they've had an abortion I still think it's wrong but there's degrees of wrong as well there's nuance funnily enough like those sort of people would do it and be ashamed and be like oh god I've got to be more careful and like if it happens again no we're, we're not having an abortion I feel too bad like I get that I, I I understand like I'm not fucking hardcore oh god you evil person um but at the same time there's the op opposite end who are like oh I'm pregnant again because I had a gangbang last night better have an abortion it's just <laughs> And there is that subset of people. Like, when people go, oh, you're being overdramatic, or that this doesn't happen, it happens. <laughs> oh, Drag Queen Story Hour wasn't a thing, and now it's everywhere. I just wish people would fucking listen. It's like a friend of mine, he's a bit too hard on, on like, hardcore conspiracy theories. And then occasionally he'll hit on one that is kind of, like, right. But then he'll be like, why does no one believe me? And it's like, dude, because you peddle the fucking lizard people theory on your on your page at the same time as more sensible shit. Of course people aren't going to listen to you. You're crazy. But like when I, when, um, whatever, not the Delta, the variant of COVID that was like, oh yeah, it makes you sick, but it doesn't kill you. Um, when that first come out in South Africa, I said to my nan, COVID's over now. And she's like, oh, no, what do you mean? This new variant is really, really infectious. I'm like, yeah, but it's really, really mild. And um, 
that's what we want. We want people to get the really, 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 really mild version. Um, because then it's got nowhere to go and people get immunity and it's good. And, she, and you know, she was worried because she, you know, she's old. Um, didn't agree with me. And then a month later, when all the papers were saying exactly what I was saying a month before, and she was just like, do you know what, I... I should have listened to you. You were right about this one. I'm like, Nan, I've been consistently right over the last two years. It's just taken you a few weeks to catch up. And I have been like, I, I was on board. Like, when it first all happened, I was just like, and they said masks. I was like, that's a good idea because, you know, this is a new disease. We don't really know much about it. And doing things that, hey, may work, may not work, we don't know. But it's better than doing nothing. So, you know, it, it, no harm, no foul. But then, you know, when stuff comes out and it evolves, and they, they, the one that made me laugh was the science is settled, that phrase. Because as someone who loves science, science is never settled. It's always up for debate, and it's always moving and changing. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's a good thing because we our understanding grows. We, we're able to do more shit. I mean, imagine talking to someone like this is what I say to my nephew. If you took eight year old, uh, ten year old me, because my nephew's ten, and transported him to now, he would have no idea how to function or do anything because it's all completely alien to him. Like when I was ten. I had a SNES. Yeah, I had a SNES. Yeah, 10 years old, I had a SNES. So, the internet wasn't really a thing. It, it existed, obviously, but not in the form we know it now. It was a lot smaller. Um, so, yeah, it, it just... I'm rambling now. I better stop. I had a long-ass day at work. I've had a long-ass few weeks at work, to be fair. It's been very hard. Um, but the beard is much bigger than what it is on this um, picture. It's not really even a picture of me. It's a caricature or anime avatar or whatever the fuck. I paid some dude on, not even Fiverr, it was Patreon. It's how long ago it was because then even uh, my Patreon account's been gone for uh, five years at this point. But anyway, I'm sure I'll do something more fun and involved, um, gaming-wise, I guess. Been playing with Linux, which is fun. It wasn't fun. It was stressful. But <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go. So, um, yeah, take care, and bye-bye for now.